I have to ask you, because you work at the interplay of uh, the machine and the natural world, is there a good definition for you of what is life? Mm-hmm. What, what is a living organism? Mm-hmm. I think like 440 million years ago, there were all these plants that um, the cyanobacteria, I believe, actually, that, that God... It, that, that that was like the first extinction, right? There were six, five extinctions. We are apparently the sixth. We are in the eye of the storm. We are in the sixth extinction. We are going to be extinct as we speak. I mean, death is upon us, whether we want to admit it or not. And actually, they found in Argentina and in, in you know, various places around the world, they found these spores of the first plants that existed on the planet, and they emerged out of these cyanobacteria were the first, of course, and then they found these spore-based plants. And because they didn't have seeds, they're only spores, the spores became sort of the fossils by which we've come to know of their existence. And because of these spores, we know that this first extinction existed. But this extinction is actually what enabled plants to resurrect, right? So the death of these first plants because they clinked to the rocks and they they generated a ton of phosphorus that went into the ocean by clinging to the rocks like 60 times more phosphorus than without them. And then all this fo- phosphorus basically choked the oceans and made them super cold and a um, without oxygen, aoxic. And then um, and then we lost the plant kingdom. And then because of the death of these first plants, they actually enriched the soil and created nutrients for these new plants to come to the planet. Um, And those planets had like more sophisticated vein systems and they were moving beyond spores to seeded plants, et cetera, and flowering plants. And so in a way, one mass extinction sort of led in in the, the... or division period sort of led to life as we know it. And where would we be without plants in a way? So I I think that death is very much part of life. And through that definition, that kind of planetary wide definition in the context of hundreds of millions of years, um, life gains a completely new, sort of a new light. And that's where that's when the particles become a wave, right? Where humans are, we are not alone. And we are here because of those plants, right? So I think death is is very much part of life. So in the context of, you know, the redwood tree, perhaps, you know, life is defined as uh, 10 generations. And through the lens of a bacteria, perhaps life is defined as a, a millisecond. And perhaps through the lens of, of an AGI, life is defined as all of human civilization. And so I think it really is a question of um, this time scale again, the time scale and the organism, the life form that's asking the question through which we can answer what is life. <laughs>